subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Networking Fundamentals 98 to 366. What is Networking Fundamentals 98 to 366? Microsoft's Networking Fundamentals exam validates your understanding of wireless networking, IP addressing, wide area, and local area networks, routers, switches, and the OC model. The MTA is an entry-level certification intended to help you make the first move toward a career as an IT professional. Also, after earning an MTA certification, you become a member of the Microsoft Certified Professional Community. But before appearing for the exam, you must possess an understanding of the following skills and knowledge. First, Software Development Fundamentals. Second, Web Development Fundamentals. Third, Windows Development Fundamentals. Fourth, Database Fundamentals. Fifth, System Administrator Fundamentals. Sixth, Networking Fundamentals. Seventh, Security Fundamentals. Now we will talk about, why choose Networking Fundamentals 98 to 366 exam. Advantages that the Networking Fundamentals 98 to 366 exam provides you are. First, enhances your visibility. Holding MTA certification helps you stand out of the crowd, and your potential competitors. They enhance your visibility in the job market, and differentiate you from your non-certified peers. Second, promises career growth. Microsoft certifications increase the value of your resume, and grab the attention of your potential employees thereby, promising you career growth. Third, grab higher salaries. Microsoft certifications help you in validating your skills, and knowledge. They prove your efficiency over non-certified competitors, and hence help you grab higher salaries. Fourth, enhance employability. Trainings from Microsoft provide you with resources that will help you serve for, and excel in jobs that involve these software skills. Therefore Microsoft certifications are the best way to enhance your employability. Exam details. Before we take you to the journey of the Microsoft MTA 98336 exam, it becomes important to give a quick look at the exam details. Not to mention, it is always good to have details of the exam beforehand. Therefore, details for Microsoft MTA 98366 are available below. Now we will discuss about, target audience for the exam. Candidates for this exam must be familiar with general networking concepts, and technologies. In addition, candidates are required to have remarkable hands-on experience with Windows Server, Windows-based networking, network management tools, and network protocols, and topologies. Exam Format, and Question Types Every exam comes with its different exam formats, and question types. You may find the following type of questions in the Networking Fundamentals 98 to 366 exam. First, Build List. Second, Case Studies. Third, Multiple Choice. Fourth, Short Answer. Fifth, Mark Review. Sixth, Drag, and Drop. Now we will talk about, Exam Retake Policy. Microsoft allows five attempts per year for a specific exam. The exam retake policy for Microsoft Networking 98 to 366 exam is as follows. First, if a candidate is not able to clear the exam in the first attempt, the candidate must wait at least 24 hours before retaking the exam. Second, if a candidate does not clear the exam the second time, candidate must wait at least 14 days before retaking the exam a third time. Third, a 14-day waiting period is also there for the fourth and fifth subsequent exam retakes. Cancellation and reschedule policy. Microsoft allows free canceling of the exam within 24 hours prior to your scheduled appointment. But if you fail to show up on your exam day without rescheduling or canceling your exam, Microsoft reserves all rights to forfeit your entire exam fee. Rescheduling and cancellation of your scheduled exams can be done through the certification dashboard. Exam Course, Networking Fundamentals 98 to 366. First, understanding the network infrastructure, which compromises 30 to 35% weightage for this exam. Second, understanding network hardware, which compromises 20 to 25% weightage for this exam. Third, understanding protocols and services, which compromises 45 to 50% weightage for this exam. Let us now discuss about exam course topics in detail. Domain 1, Understanding Network Infrastructures, 30-35% to Number 1, Understand the concepts of Internet, Intranet, 
and extranet. It contains virtual private network, security zones, firewalls. Number 2, understand local area networks. It contains perimeter networks, addressing, reserved address ranges for local use, including local loopback IP, VLANs, wired LAN, and wireless LAN. Number 3, understand wide area networks. It contains leased lines, dial-up, ISDN, VPN, D1, T3, E1, E3, DSL, cable modem, and more, and their characteristics, speed, availability. Number 4, understand wireless networking. It contains types of wireless networking standards, and their characteristics, 802.11a, b, g, n, ac including, different GHZ ranges, types of network security, WPA, WEP, 802.1x, and others, point-to-point -point wireless, ad hoc networks, wireless bridging. Number 5, understand network topologies, and access methods. It contains star, mesh, ring, bus, logical, and physical topologies. Domain 2, understanding network hardware, 20 to 25 percent. Number 1, understand switches. It contains transmission speed, number, and type of ports, number of uplinks, speed of uplinks, managed or unmanaged switches, VLAN capabilities, layer 2 and layer 3 switches, and security options, hardware redundancy, support, backplane speed, switching types, and MAC table, understand capabilities of hubs versus switches, virtual switches. Number 2, understand routers. It contains transmission speed considerations, directly connected routes, static routing, dynamic routing, routing protocols, RIP, versus OSPF, default routes, routing table, and how it selects best routes, routing table memory, network address translation, software routing in Windows Server, installing, and configuring routing, quality of service. Number 3, understand media types. It contains cable types, and their characteristics, including media segment length, and speed, fiber optic, twisted pair shielded, or unshielded, CATS cabling, wireless, susceptibility to external interference, machinery, and power cables, susceptibility to electricity, lightning, susceptibility to interception. Domain 3, understanding protocols, and services, 45 to 50 percent. Number 1, understand the open systems interconnection model. It contains OC model, transmission control protocol model, examples of devices, protocols, applications, and which OC, or TCP layer they belong to, TCP, and user datagram protocol, well-known ports for most used purposes, not necessarily internet, packets, and frames. Number 2, understand IP4. It contains subnetting, IP config, why use internet protocol version 4, IP4, addressing, IP4 to IP6 tunneling protocols to ensure backward compatibility, dual IP stack, subnet mask, gateway, ports, packets, reserved address ranges for local use, including local loopback IP. Number 3, understand IP6. It contains subnetting, IP config, why use IP6, addressing, IP4 to IP6 tunneling protocols to ensure backward compatibility, dual IP stack, subnet mask, gateway, ports, packets, reserved address ranges for local use, including local loopback IP. Number 4, understand names resolution. It contains DNS, resource records, Windows Internet name service, steps in the name resolution process, hosts file, LAM hosts file. Number 5, understand networking services. It contains dynamic host configuration protocol, network address translation, firewalls, remote access, VPN. Number 6, understand TCP or IP. It contains tools such as ping, tracert, pathping, telnet, ipconfig, netstat, reserved address ranges for local use, including local loopback IP protocols. Preparatory guide, Microsoft Networking Fundamentals 98 to 366. Step 1, have clarity about the exam concepts. The first step of your preparations is to visit the official guide for Microsoft Network Fundamentals Exam 98 to 366. You must review all the exam objectives. 
It is the foundation of your exam hence, familiarizes and have clarity about all the exam concepts. Step 2, Devise a Study Plan The next step is to strategize a study plan for your preparations. While devising the plan, keep in mind the course topics, and time duration left for the real exam. Always begin with brushing up your weaker sections. Moreover, devote enough attention to topics which have a higher weightage in the exam. Following your plan will help you remain consistent, and also help in avoiding distractions. Step 3, Refer Books Books are an important source of preparations. Books provide in-depth understanding about the exam concepts. There are a plethora of books in the market, but remember, to choose from genuine, and reliable platforms. We recommend you to refer the exam 98 to 366, MTA Networking Fundamentals from Microsoft Bookstore. Additionally you can also refer the 1. Microsoft Windows Networking Essentials 2. Windows Server 2016 Administration Fundamentals Step 4, Go for a Training Course Achieving Microsoft Certification is quite a task. Training course is an important step in your preparations. Microsoft offers two instructor-led training to help you prepare for the exam. Step 5, Attempt Practice Tests The most important step in your preparatory guide, is to attempt practice tests. These tests help you keep a check on your preparations, and identify your weaker areas. Moreover, practice tests make you understand the exam format, and give you a real-time experience of the exam. Step 6, Join a Community Joining online forums and study groups are really fruitful, while preparing for an exam. Study groups help you stay connected with the other people, who are also going through the same journey as yours. They help you learn from the experts, who can provide you with valuable insights about the exam. Moreover, you can ask your doubts, and get them clarified. Therefore, joining a community is a must to prepare for an exam. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.